Why does it seem like the UK has something against international students? Yes, they keep changing their immigration rules, which doesn't seem favorable to some migrants, but it is worse on international students. Firstly, they stopped them from bringing dependents to the UK. Secondly, they expressly stated that from 11th of March, international students cannot switch their dependents to a care visa. And we all know that most international students actually switch to care visa. That is their ticket to staying back in the UK. But now it is no longer possible. So those with dependents don't even know their stand anymore because it's that they get a job that pays them up to 38,000 pounds to be able to switch to a skilled worker visa and stay back with their families or switch to a care visa and the dependents will have to go back. Now they're trying to do another one which seems to be against international students as well. I know they have their reasons why they plan to do this which to them is justifiable but obviously to some international students it is unfavorable but we're going to go into the details in today's video so please stick with me today end why we dive right into it my name is tochi you're welcome to my channel please give this video a thumbs up if you get value like it right now as you're watching thank you share it to everyone that benefits from it okay to all my returning subscribers you guys are amazing you're welcome back to today's video if you're yet to subscribe kindly do so because i share content on how you can move to the uk life in the uk and everything good so please consider sticking around with me before I continue, I would love to introduce you all to the sponsors of today's video, Lemfi. Lemfi is a reliable app that me and my friends used to send money to Africa. Lemfi allows residents of the UK and Canada to send money to Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, Senegal, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Benin, Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda at zero fees. Yes, you heard me, there are no hidden charges at all and you're sure that the recipients receive the money instantly. Guess what guys, they have the best rates that you can find in the market so you don't always get your complete value for money. I've been using Lemfi for a while now and I can guarantee you that it's very fast, it's easy to use, secured and absolutely free so you don't have to worry about scammers, okay? And you're sure that the recipient will receive the money immediately you send it. So please feel free to use Lemfi for both your personal and business transactions. To get started, you can download the app with my referral link in the description box to get 10% cash back on your first transactions above £100, capped at £50. Alternatively, you can download the Lenfi app directly from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and enter my code TOCHI to benefit from this offer. So please download the Lenfi app today and begin to send money to Africa for free and don't forget to use my code TOCHI. Now back to the video. So with all the new changes to immigration rules and everything, it just seems like the UK government has something against international students. I don't know what it is, but all their laws are just not favorable to this set of people. And now they are planning something new, which again does not favor international students. I'll share my screen with you guys so that you will see everything for yourself while we dive right into it. We're going to go through it together. So this is the official UK government website. This is letter from the Home Secretary to Professor Brian Bell, 11th March 2024. And this is exactly what it states. And guys, this is extensive, it's a lot. But there's an article by The Guardian that actually broke it down for us to understand it easily. When I was going through it, it was actually easier to understand that one. It's still the same thing, right? But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use that one so that it will be easier for all of us to understand. So this is it. Foreign students may be undermining UK higher education, says Claire Valley. The Home Secretary calls for visa review over concern that courses are being used as shortcuts to gain work permits. Now, the Home Secretary James Cleverly has said international students may be undermining the integrity and quality of the UK higher education system by using university courses as a cheap way of getting work visas. In a letter to the Migration Advisory Committee, Mark, Cleverly asked the body to investigate whether the graduate visa entitlement allowing international students to work for two or three years after graduating was failing to attract the brightest and the best to the UK. You know, the graduate route has always been in existence and this allowed international students to stay back in the UK for two to three years to be able to look for a job and switch to a work visa, right? But now the Home Secretary is saying that this route has been abused and is calling on MAC, the Migration Advisory Committee, to conduct a rapid review of this route and give their report as soon as possible. In fact, they gave them a deadline to give their reports. We're also going to see all of that and some of the other reasons that they gave as we continue. 
But university leaders fear that cutting or restricting the graduate visa route will lead to a drastic fall in international recruitment and provoke a financial crisis for universities that rely on income from international tuition fees, which is already happening because universities are saying that admissions have dropped or the number of international students applying to their schools have really dropped since the 1st of January 2024. So they also fear that if they continue like that, it's going to even drop them more. Cleverly told the MAC that while the government was committed to attracting talented students from around the world to study in the UK, it also wanted to ensure the graduate route is not being abused, in particular that some of the demand for study visas is not being driven more by a desire for immigration. So they've raised concerns about the misuse of the route for immigration purposes rather than for education. Honestly, I don't agree with this point. People are coming to study in the UK, paying so much money, thousands of pounds to study in the UK. And you're saying that they're using the route for immigration purposes rather than for education purposes. Yes, you want people to come and study in the UK and go back to their home countries, but the personal work visa is there for them to stay back in the UK and work. Okay, they are working and contributing to the economy of the UK because obviously you can't even stay for two whole years in the UK without working. You will not survive, right? So within that two years or three years, they are working and contributing. And if you're lucky enough to get a job, you will now switch to a work visa and still continue your work and contribute to the economy of the UK. So I don't get the point of using it for immigration purposes. Do you mean that people pay that much amount of money and go through all the stress of studying in the UK just for immigration purposes and not education purposes? You guys make it make sense. Anyway, let's continue. So the Home Secretary instructed the committee, which gives independent advice to the government to investigate any evidence of abuse of the graduate routes, including the routes not being fit for purpose, and to look at which universities were producing graduates who used the routes. Really? Okay. He also asked the MAC to analyze whether the graduate route is undermining the integrity and quality of the UK higher education system, including understanding how the graduate route is or is not effectively controlling for the quality of international students such that it is genuinely supporting the UK to attract and retain the brightest and the best, contributing to economic growth and benefiting British higher education. I really mentioned that earlier, but guys, I really want to hear your thoughts about this in the comment section, because yes, it's up to Mark to do their own investigation and give their reports. But if Mark comes up to say that all these things are true, definitely they are closing this route. And I don't know what is going to become of some of these international students that are already in the UK at this point because it's just a lot going on. But let's continue. So Rachel Harry, the chief executive of the Million Pios Group of Universities, said the government's review appeared to be deliberately aimed at undermining the success of British higher education. It is impossible to imagine the government going out of its way to make Britain less inviting to investment in almost any other sector. And yet, every negative headline and policy reform makes Britain less attractive to international students. But yeah, at this point, I don't think it's attractive anymore to international students. Even though people that really want to study would come and study, yes, UK has a very good education, sound quality education system, but uh, you know, they will not get as much people as they used to. Obviously, it's happening right now because some of these specs or some of these things that really attracted international students are no more. They are removing it. And if this study work visa one comes into effect, it's going to even make matters worse. Because right now, international students cannot switch to a work visa until the completion of their study, right? And now they cannot move with dependents anymore. Now also, if they complete their study from the 11th of March, they cannot switch to their dependent to a care worker visa, except they get a skilled worker visa, which is also expensive. Like they have to earn a certain amount of money. It's not even small money. It's up to 38,000 pounds. You have to get a job that pays up to that amount of money to be able to switch to a skilled worker visa. And if you're not able to do that, you would have to leave the UK with your family, except you just want to remain in the UK, get a care worker visa, and then send your family out of the UK. Because obviously they're even saying that people are using these routes for immigration 
immigration purposes using this route to stay back in the uk and they're not staying illegally to be honest it's legal you have to apply for this visa and if you don't even meet the requirements it will not be granted so you have to apply for this visa pay ihs fees pay all the fees required they have to look at your course look at your results everything if you don't meet the requirements you'll be denied and if you meet the requirements you get the visa so it's not like they're staying illegally they still apply for this visa get this visa before they are able to stay back you know via this route the graduate route is a key component of the offer that uk universities can make to international applicants and its value should be recognized and not eroded exactly studying in the uk is not free there are so many other countries that people can go to study so for people to want to like pay that amount of money to study in the uk then there should be something that attracts them to the uk and these are some of the things that have attracted people to come study in the uk right and now that they are planning to to remove it or take it away or whatever they want to do to it i don't think the uk will get as much international students as they used to already they are feeling the heat right there's a drastic reduction in the number of people applying study in the uk but with this as well it's going to reduce even more so the director of universities uk international said universities were deeply concerned by the short notice given by cleverly but study work matters for many international students allowing those who have invested in our country the opportunity to find work and contribute to the UK economy. So having publicly recommitted to the graduate routes on its current terms in May 2023, any further changes will be extremely damaging to our reputation as a welcoming destination for international students and risk undermining a UK success story that generates more than £20 billion a year in export earnings for the economy. So see the amount of money that is at risk here. I don't know if the UK government is willing or is ready to risk losing this amount of money because it's a lot they make a lot of money from international students but let's continue i'm sure they would have thought it through before even writing that letter in the first place so the committee is expected to report back in may and its findings could come at a difficult time for the higher education sector so far this year enrollments from overseas has fallen by 40 percent compared with 2023 so if you read through just that, obviously universities are not in support of this because they are quite sure that it will affect them negatively. They even showed data indicating that a significant number of graduates are not getting graduate level jobs, that they are settling for low paid jobs like care work and all of that. So these are some of the reasons why they really want this to be reviewed because obviously, according to them, they want to attract the best minds. They want people to come to the UK to study and get a job in their field and stay back but they're saying that instead of that people are settling for low paid jobs you know like care work and the rest of it so mark the migration advisory committee is expected to report findings of these their investigations by the 14th of may 2024 for possible consideration trust me to keep you guys updated okay whatever happens i'll definitely let you guys know so that's it for today's video i just came to share with you guys what's up the plans the uk government have so that you too can make adequate plans as well because if you have the right information you can make informed decisions thank you all so much for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye bye